Hey everybody, my name is Kevin. Welcome back for another video of Vampire. We're gonna continue the series, boys, for sure. Uh, we are done uh, with Medal of Honor. Uh, I'm still asking you guys if you want me to play something in particular in between X Men or uh, Star Wars Episode 3 for the next series, which is gonna start tomorrow, of course. Uh, you guys can let me know. So, we're continuing a Vampire series right now. We killed a uh, off video, I killed everyone I needed to kill, boys. So I'm gonna show you guys that really quick. Uh, over here, nobody really is missing. I couldn't kill anybody here, but there is in the hospital. Um, where is it at? All right. So I killed a couple of people. I killed many people, and all now there's only two people left actually working it's actually functioning it's it says it hostile so it's not my home anymore i can't change clothes or anything i can still like go to bed there though it's still a keep out place uh swansea and brennan are still alive boys so they're the only one left alive in this place basically the only place that's livable it is hostile still uh this place is still livable as well as critical but only because I'm like the vampires live here so I don't know boys we'll see how everything goes I gotta report report my findings to Lord Redgrave right now so let's talk to him figure it out uh, what does he want me to do next basically where where is he is he that I passed right through him or is that I think that's him right here yeah Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please, tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. I'm just doctor. Some questions remain. Uh, some questions remain though, yeah. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank, well, you. thank you very much, now, yeah. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Really? Recruit a new We're going to recruit a new one to the club? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Ekon he deserves to be. Dawson? Who the fuck is Dawson? I can't. As you wish. I'm not sure. As you wish. As you wish. I'm part of the go. club. Now go. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Okay. Uh, your word is my command. Your word is my command. Here we go. So, reach temple entrance. So we gotta recruit a new vampire, a new Akon, to the club. Interesting. So we're we are in a diplomatic mission. He, he said not exactly, but that's pretty much what it is. Oh, hey, Don. What's she doing here? Jonathan. Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson, to make him my progeny. Oh. I see. And how do you feel about this? I'm feeling fine. I'm gonna have uh, my first turning. That means I can turn more people. Well, there's not many people left alive, but. He'll be a very handy resource. Uh, I won't do it. He'll be a very handy resource. Aloysius Dawson is the richest man in England. He'll be a very useful resource for the club. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? 
Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turned the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Oh. All right, interesting. So he's not the descendant of a knight, huh? I have more questions. Please tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you like. What what about my maker? Yeah, so what happened with my maker? She's not going to tell me anything. Okay, advice about making Dalson and Nikon about no. About Lord Edgrave, I am uh, interested Are about you that. I'm sure your information about Redgrave is correct. He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor souls survive at all. Uh, why so uh, vindictive? How can you be sure? How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. Okay. If you say so. Uh, goodbye then. Bye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, be careful. I don't know. So, she hasn't really had anything to tell me, really. She's been here just to tell me that Lord Redgrave is not... From an, uh, a descendant of a knight, basically. That's it? I was... I was just, like expecting something big like, Oh, here's your maker and everything. I guess not. It's pretty disappointing. I don't know what sh she's even doing here. In my homeland. The vampire's homeland. Alright boys, so we're out. Vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sign him. Exactly. Alright, so looks like we're gonna go ahead and have our first progeny, boys. Very interesting. Well, I wouldn't have felt it would have been Dawson, though, of all people. But, you know, you know, sometimes you can't really choose, right? So... It's the first of many, I'm sure. I, I hope so, at least. I really hope I can create more vampires and stuff. It would be really cool. Now, why are there so many people in here? It's just a critical place. It's not outside. I don't know why there's so many soldiers here. Okay, let's get the, get the fuck out of here. Not supposed to be here. Okay, so where's... Where's Dawson at? We gotta find him, make him into one of ours. He's over here somewhere. It's locked, all right. It's okay. It's locked. Another way to get into the neighborhood. How does he want me to do that? Find a passage to get to the quarantine stockage. What? Not again! I gotta find a passage, boys. A secret passage and stuff. I'm getting tired of these bullshit passages. I don't know where to go. Can I go here? I cannot. Really now? Oh, this is gonna take a while, boys. Fuck. Enter. Hang on. So you just gotta go to the garden. Follow on the right right here, I guess. You just told me... Um, basically... How dare you interfere? I just heard uh, him say that, so... What is, what is he doing? Why is he attacking me? Like, I think by that, by now we should be like... We should be friends. Why are we attacking each other as vampires? We're, are we supposed to be together or something? Like... 
partners I don't know boys but this is the right area there we go this is supposed to lead me to the uh, right place we're in the sewers let's see what exactly are we supposed to do here oh well it's just a passage I guess but is there anything to it I guess not I, I don't think I don't think so so let's continue to the sewers boys it's gonna be interesting to to see what ha what's gonna happen when I transform basically um, when I transform Dawson I have this first for blood I cannot I enter. can't go there obviously all the passage like everywhere I want to go it's always blocked and Neo Augustine holy shit this guy's big I don't have blood anymore my weapon is not a weapon that actually consumes blood uh, so that's not good let me see if I can't like switch things up if I can't detail so can I instead uh, absorb blood see it does damage instead of doing blood I don't like it boys uh, I'm gonna switch for this one because I really need blood right now even though it, it does less damage but it gives me blood so that's what I need right now I'm actually gonna need to heal myself up you are gonna need to chill I'm gonna do my super attack on you there we go does a lot of damage so that's good there we go getting a little bit of blood right here there we go gain all the blood you can heal yourself up we're good so every time I'm face off against a boss that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use that uh, that uh, weapon I'm gonna use uh, the shotgun but also this weapon in particular because it gives me blood I'm gonna have to switch uh, the upgrades for my other one into a, a weapon that actually gives me blood and stuff there we go there's a lot of damage the shotgun so that's good thing that's another thing I completely forgot I had during the last boss fights the couple of boss fights I forgot I had an actual shotgun I could use it you know let me switch for that now I think I'm good all right so where do we go now because he attacked me before I attacked he attacked me I think we had to go here there we go so let's just go through that tunnel over here we are supposed to go on the right or left or I'm gonna drink some blood right here I'm doing this okay where ah oh, god damn I don't think I'm in the right area hang on boys probably gotta go no I'm not so this was the right place I came from here there's one of these doors there we go it's probably this one there we go and now I gotta go up and we should be all right all right sometimes I can get lost so easily in this game boys I, and it takes me forever to like get my bearings and know where I'm, I'm supposed to go you know wait a minute I went to the wrong place where didn't I I went backwards what the hell okay so this was not the right place where is it then is it Ford or something it's gotta be Ford then huh okay what's going on here oh we're back at this place boys so lost in these sewers it can't locked. open of course all right let's see what we can do then um, I can't open it all right boys I knew what I'm supposed to do now so you gotta bring up the water basically in order to get to the bridge over here unlock this door and then you gotta bring down the, the, the water again and you can go on this side this time around and basically you can go down that's how it works I was so lost for a long time boys at least you're not gonna be you're not gonna have to be lost if you want to play this game uh, after watching this you're gonna know where to go I'm here for that boys I'm here for that god damn take me like, some puzzles I don't like you guys know by now I don't like puzzles at all 
Like I don't have to have to figure out stuff. Is this like I have I like to things to not be complicated at all. Like I want just simple stuff and this game's not giving it to me. Sometimes I gotta figure out stuff my own so I don't like this. But it's alright. Okay, we are in the well we're in the uh, close to the place we're supposed to be at boys so here goes nothing I guess enter uh, his house now so first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna unlock this door so I can get here whenever I want you need to do that you don't unlock doors from the other side so the, the hell are these guys vampires so these guys are like what va vampires let me talk to them really quick good evening sir I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. Interesting. Oh, I can mesmerize him. Really now? I can mesmerize these guys. That's that's more kills, boys. Holy shit! Hey, on your life in London. Personal questions. Okay, I'm gonna squat. Uh, do you know? First off, do you know? Um, do you know anything about this guy, Dawson? What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Oh, all right. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you really quick so I can have as much points as possible. What are you doing here? May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. That's one of the more, that someone might be me. It might be me. All right, we know more stuff about them. Nice. That's what, all I want, boys. I want to know exactly a lot of stuff about these so I can ha get as much points as possible from these two brothers, which is going to be great. I can actually mesmerize them, boys. More people to kill. Nice. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? Yes, I am. What kind of question is that? Yeah, yeah, I am. I still enjoy living in London, no matter how difficult it can be sometimes. Then I am sincerely happy for you. True happiness in life seems to be the most difficult goal to reach these days. Okay, why have you not left already? Tell me about your brother. What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? Okay. May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. Nothing from them. All right, nothing. Well, we do have that. Hang on. Who are you waiting for exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. Uh, what kind of trap? I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you're not in your place? That sort of trap. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope. Doctor, hope is what truly drives mankind. 
Okay, if you say so. Okay, well, I don't have anything else from him. Uh, let me just say goodbye for now so I can get more information from his brother. Once I gather information from his brother, boys, I'm going to kill these two. I'm going to get a compilation for you guys so that you guys can see that, all right? So let me see you once we are with Dawson. <laughs> So in the end, was it you we were waiting for? Death was our destination. This makes no sense. No sense at all. I should have told my brother to go sooner. Alright, here's the mansion, boys. Uh... Let's go. It's right aside from my actually keep out place, so my safe house. So let's go ahead and do this finally. After a long time of recording for me, let's do this. Let's finally talk to Dawson and transform him. All right, we're in. Finally. Let's see what we got here. We got to talk to him, find him. So let's go ahead and uh, try to find him, I guess. The question There's remains. Multiple resources. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? I'm sure you're ready, Dr. Reed. Don't worry about it. Oh, he's right there. All right. Let's go, boys. Let's make him our progeny. Unbelievable, isn't it? All right. He's a level six, too. Uh, am I... When I'm going to kill him, am I, am I going to be, like, become level five of... What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight, I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. All right. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. We can take a few minutes. I'm the only vampire here. I'm the only vampire in the room for now. So please indulge me. All right, all right. What is it you wish to ask? Uh... Let's move on then. Um, about the guard of Puerin, about feeding on blood, about becoming prior prodigy. I don't care about these two. These two are not that important. He's gonna be fine. About the guard of Puerin? What do you know about the guard of Puerin? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. All right. Seems good then. Let's move on. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an... Well, drink blood, I guess. London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Uh, all right. Uh, who gave you the right to decide about the quarantine wall across the wall walls to, to contain the epidemic? Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. Uh, infection could pro uh, uh, propagate, create a giant trap. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? 
you'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, as soon as they are spotted. Alright, if you say so. Um, Alright then, well, here goes. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. All right, so I don't have any enough hints. I can... Okay, so I can turn him or embrace him, actually. Very interesting. So if I turn him, I sacrifice 200 XP in the process. Uh, what? I don't have 200 XP, uh, 2000 XP. Uh, embrace, I will kill you. No, I will turn him. I will do as I was, as I was told. Are you ready for immortality, Mr. Dawson? I'm out gonna turn him. Uh, I've got, I was told to turn him, so I will turn him. To life as you prepare to Even though it's gonna what do you mean, drink? What about the blood transfusion? It's gonna take a lot of XP from me. I'm the vampire here, so I'll give the orders. Drink, sir. Now. All right. Good. That's enough. That's enough, I said. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. Oh, no. Thank old Redgrave. You will die, sir. Steal yourself. You're already in death's grip. Let's do it. What's going on? Mesmerized level went up. Okay. So he is dead. Alright. Hint failed. Doesn't matter. This trick will soon suffer. It doesn't matter. It's All locked. right, it's locked. So I killed him. He's gonna transform into a vampire. I turned him, boys. And now, I'm not entirely sure. Like, there would have been another choice, but I don't want to, like, waste too much time. And I, I don't think I would have chose that option anyways. All right, so I just lost a lot of XP from that, but I can gain that XP back really quick, boys. So no worries about that. Report to Lord Redgrave. Uh, we will do that in a second. I just want to look around. I don't think we're going to find anything here. So let's do it. Oh, he's right here actually. He's in the house. That's pretty nice. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Yes, my lord. Ascalon has a new recruit as you ordered. Wonderful news. I've waited for this outcome for so long. Tonight you served your country, the king himself, beyond all expectation. Thank you, my lord. No, thank you, Dr. Reed. Now, could you do me one last favor? Of course. What is it? Go outside and talk with that disgusting creature I saw waiting for you in front of this mansion. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'll have a look. Good. I didn't kill her on the spot. For she claims to be a friend of yours. But don't you dare bring such a creature near me again. Alright. Uh, and by my sword you by the sword you die. So I have someone I gotta talk to, really? I actually forgot, boys, for a minute that old Bridget is actually her. There we go. I do remember her now. It's actually um one of the the scowls. A uh, higher scowl. Alright, what does she want with me exactly so I can go by? I just went up, uh, leveled up on Mesmerized level. Uh, mesmerized level 5, I can kill even more people. So I want to do that, boys. I want to go ahead and kill a bunch of people. So you got to let me, you got to let me go and kill a bunch of people. I can even kill Charlotte Ashbury. Oh, this is going to be nice. This is going to be nice, boys. I can actually kill everyone here that lives here, so... This is going to be great, boys. I'm going to kill everyone. First, let's talk to old Bridget. I, everyone I'm going to kill, though, boys, I'm going to have to kill them 
off video unfortunately for you guys so we're not gonna be able to see that but that's that's all right what do you want we meet again at the strangest of times young Econ. so do you serve the Earl of Bristol now old Bridget what are you doing here your friend the wise Econ. she sent me to warn you really what what is it how did you meet her how did you meet lady Ashbury? she came to us in the sewers in search of answers just as you did what kind of answers lady ashbury is in the sewers really lady ashbury in the sewers now that's a sight i wish i'd seen she said she was your friend and that she sought the identity of your maker so I answered her questions. Really? You knew all along and you wouldn't tell me? Are you serious? What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your makeup. Okay. Talked. Better be like that. A lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. All right. Uh, tell me what's going on. Lady Ashbury, you know her. Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. They want to attack? Um, alright, no time to lose them. No time to lose then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? A message for her? Tell her I love her. Now nah, you good. Uh, tell her we need to talk. Tell her I worry about it. No. Tell her we need to talk. Tell her we need to talk. In the end, is this not what we all need? Go now and take care, young Econ. For the flames are So they're going to attack the hospital. The hospital uh, is going to be under attack. Well, we're going to protect the hospital in the next video, boys. Uh, that's unfortunate, though. Because I think that's actually someone in the hospital I can kill, right? Yeah, the uh, Gwyneth Branagan, I can kill her. I could kill her. I want to do that, but uh, I'm going to have to do this in the next video then, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.